They don't really need excuses to go out and have a girls' night out. All right, but if you've been looking for a reason, here's a good one. Yes, January 30th is the date of the annual Girls' Night Out. If you're interested in shopping, cocktails, and laughter, please listen up. Sounds like a fun night to me. <laughs> Roberta Wilhelm returns from Girls Inc. Thanks for stopping in. Happy nice New to have Year you back. You, Thank you. Happy New Year to Thank both you. of you. Uh, talk about the uh, talk about this event. It's a good event. You've done it in the past. Mm -hmm. um, w what can people expect? It's a great event. It's a, a popular event. It's just a fun, light evening. You have cocktails, shopping, boutique shopping. There's a comedian. There's dinner. Hang out with your girlfriends. Have a good time. It's in the dead of winter. People are looking for an excuse, yes, out. to go out and have uh -huh. a good time, and we're going to give you one. And of course, you're raising money, and we'll talk more about that shortly. Where, because that's really why you're doing it. That's, that's the right. most important part of all. But to the shopping, what are some of the vendors <laughs> that uh, gals are going to see? They always have a wonderful, eclectic group of vendors with really unique items that you might not find elsewhere. Some of them are um, handmade. You've got uh, also things like home furnishing, uh, decorative items, handbags, skincare products, jewelry, mm -hmm. uh, very fun items. And it's just a real fun environment. And you, it's, you really should shop because mm -hmm. you're doing good by shopping. So what do you so. just, you can sample things, the creams, for example, talk to the vendor and yes. Places that made the product yes, you're about to exactly, buy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, I didn't realize you guys had a, did you have a comedian in the past? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. And you're yeah. doing it again this year. You always then. have mm -hmm. good ones. This yeah, is, you're who, missing who is out. It? Yeah, who is mm -hmm. it this year? Kelly McFarland. And she seems to be very funny. I've seen some of her clips online, and, and you can too. The mm -hmm. audience can too. Uh, she seems very funny, and it's always just a good, a good time, good laughs. Yeah, I like that you bring in female mm -hmm. uh, comedians. Makes sense. Uh, why do you think this event is as popular as it is? And frankly, it seems to get even more popular with each passing year. I think word of mouth, uh, people who go once want to return because it is mm -hmm. a good time. And uh, who doesn't want to go laugh? It's, it's mm -hmm. just a really fun thing to do. Yeah, and as we've talked about, this is a fundraiser for Girls Inc. Uh, talk about Girls Inc., the mission, and what you guys plan on doing with the funds generated from this. Well, our mission is to inspire the girls to be strong, smart, and bold. And this is one of our signature fundraisers, one of two each year, where we count on these funds to help us provide programs in health, education, independent living, art, fitness, nutrition, mm -hmm. everything the girls need to grow up healthy, educated, and independent. Is there um, a way to describe the difference that you're making? And, and maybe it takes some years to see that, that when girls first come to you, I mean, it's hard to say where they would have been without Girls, Inc. and some of these programs. It's but. true, and it's sort of like raising your own children. I'm not sure that they recognize or appreciate, but a lot of times as girls come back to visit as yeah. young women, or they graduate from college, or they're going on to grad school, or they're um, texting you about a job promotion, they're saying, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, that um, I wouldn't be here without Girls, Inc. M more specifically, can you give us an example of somebody who maybe kind of stands out, without mentioning any names, but... Uh, uh, just so people understand how the program has worked over the years. Oh, sure. We had a young woman who, um, after a trip with us to Washington, D.C., really sort of turned her life around educationally, just started improving her grades. She went off to college, and she is now in grad school. Mm. And I think it's something that she probably wouldn't have done without Girls, Inc. When she went to Washington, D.C., she said, I felt like my world was opened up. I felt like Helen Keller with my hand under the pump, mm. seeing all of the monuments and realizing that this existed in time and space. And it's an opportunity she wouldn't have had without Girls, Inc. That gives me chills. And that's what you're saying, the difference that you're making. Sometimes you know, sometimes it's hard to put your finger on yes. it. Um, in terms of tickets here, the best way to get them, and also a plea to those who are 30 and under, and yes. a, a little bit of a price break for them. That's right. Well, you can purchase uh, registration, actually. There aren't tickets online. Okay. On our website, you can also call Girls, Inc., 402-457-4676. You can also send a check. The tickets are $75, but if you're 30 and under, we give you a break. It's $50. Mm -hmm. That's a great, how, many, how many people do you expect for this event? Oh, we normally would get 600 Wow. Women and yeah. a few brave men. You're right. welcome well, to come. I would come. Yes. Yeah, yes. No, yeah. I'm not well, and I think if you're looking for a good woman, this might be a good place, guys. That's there right. are going to be That's a lot right. of them. The odds will be good. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh, great 2013 <laughs> for your organization. We did. We had a wonderful year. Uh -huh. And, and how's looking, this one shaping up too. Looking for in. great things in 2014. We'll be uh, breaking ground on our new expansion for our North facility. So wonderful. things are, are looking up. And yeah. then people can not only learn about this event, but learn about the organization Girls Inc. on the website as well. Yes. There's a lot of resources on there. Yeah. Just girlsincomaha.org. And a great follow on Twitter. Yes. On Facebook, too. Keep in touch through social media. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, great we to hope see you. Hope you raise a ton of money on <laughs> January 30th. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> no Our Thursday tweet was from Ron Burgundy. We talked to his sports guy, Champ Kind, or David Kettner, on Tuesday. 
That interview is posted online along with hundreds of other clips from the years at OmahaMorningBlend.com. You know, I've been thinking about this. As a, daughter, a dad of two daughters, mm -hmm. I'm dreading that you got to shop for prom dresses. They can be expensive. It's going to come. The Ultra Chic Prom Boutique makes dresses more affordable. How? When we come back.